Hello brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, welcome to the Bible by the Ocean side. Um, today's verse, if you want to turn to Philippians 4.13, memory verse, that we're going to talk about. Just a quick talk to try to do these videos to get these verses in your head. Like I said, I got this bench here that a brother in Christ made. I'll say it again, because he did a really, really good job. Put a plaque on it that said, The word, thy word have I hidden in my heart, that I might not sin against thee. Psalms 119.11. When I was a kid growing up, I used to sit on this bench. I don't remember if I said this before. And they said as a kid, I used to read books, bad books. You know, like, it could even be like the Harry Potter, Potter books and stuff like that. But even before those books, I just read books on this. And he's like, you know what? Maybe you can read the Bible on this to people. And uh, it's just a blessing. Okay. And my pond that needs a little help. <laughs> Summer's coming along. I'm going to try to work on it to get to look a little bit better. But I wanted to do these series so we can get through some memory verses. And remember, you're supposed to be sowing God's Word in your heart. Thy Word have I hid in my heart. We haven't come to that verse yet. Um, so... This is my grandfather's book that was given, handed down to me. Book. It's God's book, but it's my grandfather's Bible. And it's just such a blessing to have uh, something that went down three generations. Okay? Of people who read the King James Bible and believe in the King James Bible. So, verse uh, Philippians 4.13 reads, I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. It says, through Christ. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. He says, sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Okay, people will read this verse, brothers and sisters of Christ, and go, well, it doesn't work. I can't do all things through Christ. I, I've tried this, and I've tried that. But the, thing, the key word in there that I always say with these verses, there's key words there that mean something. Words have meaning. It says, through Christ was strengthened me. Is it through Christ that you're going, or are you trying to do it on your own? Is Jesus saying, go this way, yet you're trying to go that way? And you're like, I'm supposed to be able to do all things through Christ, but why is it failing? Because God's saying He wants you to go that direction, and you're trying to go that direction. There's times where you're not going through Jesus Christ, you're trying to do it of your own strength. Okay? But the most important thing in the Bible it talks about, Jesus says, and I think it's the book of John, He says, if a man love me, so I have bad with addresses sometimes. Uh, if a man love me, he will keep my words. And my Father will love him and will come unto him and make our abode with him. If a man love me, he'll keep my words. This says, I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. You love Jesus Christ? You're going through Jesus Christ? Then it needs to line up with this book. His perfect written word, the King James Bible for English speaking people. Okay? Don't lose sight of it. This is a great memory verse to have. I can do all things through Christ with strength me. It's a great memory verse to have up here, but you need to bring it down here and start applying it to your life. Loving Jesus Christ is keeping His Word. Going through Jesus Christ means going through His Word. Am I lining up with His Word? Is this what God wants? Am I letting God be my strength, or am I trying to be my own strength? You know how you try to force something to happen, and when you step back and stop forcing it, God lets it. God gets in there and goes, "Okay, I'm going to make it happen," and it happens. How many of you can testify that in your life? I wanted to do this project. I kept trying and trying. It didn't work. Two years later, you came. God brought you some materials, and you were able to finish the project. He helped you do this. He helped you do that. When you step back and said, "Lord, what do you want?" I can do all things. Through Christ with strength me, through you, Lord, what do you want? Lord, you need to be my strength. I can't do it on my own. Okay? So it's a great memory verse to have. Just remember, you need to put it in your heart, and you need to apply it to your life. It needs to line up with the Word of God, and you need to make sure that Jesus is your strength. That you're not trying to do it of your own accord. Just your strength alone. Okay? So grace and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all and my love for you which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Thank you for watching.